much, now I'm swallowed. Mike Tyson recently spoke about Sean Diddy Combs during an interview with the Daily Mail, where he shared his thoughts on the embattled music mogul. Diddy, who has been incarcerated since September 17 at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center, faces multiple serious charges, including sex trafficking and racketeering. When asked about his longtime friend, Tyson expressed his well wishes, saying, I wish him the best. In life, I wish him the best. But sources suggest that Tyson was caught off guard by the question. Diddy 54 has been denied bail three times, most recently during a hearing in Manhattan on Thursday. His family, including his mother, Janice Combs, and his children, were present in court to support him. The trial date is set for May 5, 2025, and until then, the former CEO of Bad Boy Records will remain in custody. Tyson and Diddy have been friends for decades, often seen together at the mogul's high-profile parties. However, there is no evidence that Tyson or any other celebrity attendees were involved in any of Diddy's alleged criminal activities. When the Daily Mail informed Tyson that his name had been linked with Diddy, he seemed surprised, responding, Wait, I'm synonymous with Diddy. Well, that's cool. I never knew that. He continued by expressing his general well wishes for his friend without delving into the details of the allegations. Insiders close to Tyson clarified that his comment was made off the cuff and was not meant to be an endorsement of Diddy's innocence. Tyson was promoting his partnership with LFGO Energy Pouches at the time and was not expecting to discuss the legal troubles of his friend. His representative even intervened to end the interview when the subject was raised, emphasizing that Tyson's comment should not be taken out of context. Additionally, sources insist that the photos of Tyson and Diddy being circulated are old and do not reflect their current relationship. Diddy's legal troubles are substantial. He faces charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Prosecutors allege that Diddy orchestrated events where sex workers were flown across state lines to engage in acts with male prostitutes, sometimes referred to as freak-offs. They claim Diddy used these encounters as leverage, allegedly recording the events and using the footage as blackmail. Furthermore, reports say that Diddy employed firearms to intimidate and control those involved. In total, over 120 alleged victims have come forward, including his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, who has publicly accused him of wrongdoing. Despite the gravity of the charges, Diddy has maintained his innocence, pleading not guilty to all counts. As the case progresses, the public continues to keep a close watch on both the legal proceedings and the reactions of those once close to the music mogul.